Hello, my sister. Can you please read this word for me? Please. Daily Tata family, welcome to yet another edition of the show. Today, we are talking about the reading culture in South Africa, especially amongst us as young people. interest when it comes to reading. And when, when we are talking about the reading culture amongst young people, are young people just still reading this, you know, physical copies? Or has the reading culture actually changed to reading online, to reading on Kindle, to reading on all sorts of digital devices? Those are some of the questions that we're going to be asking today in the streets and we're going to be testing actually if South African young people know how to read. The older generation doesn't really give us credit for the fact that I'm on my phone, I'm reading on social media, I'm reading online articles. Do we necessarily look at this revolution of how the culture of reading has changed, that we are reading on phones, we are reading on Kindle, we can order things online. Do we acknowledge at least that part of the, of the reading culture or do we even acknowledge it as reading culture? Like it is the reading culture, mm. uh, but obviously, yes, uh, every generation has its own standards and like you know how they judge like you know, the next generation. And uh, for us, we say young people need to read, and uh, we always encourage young people who read needs to write, mm. because it is also important for us to understand uh, what are the challenges that young people are going through. Not only the generation to judge and just write about mm. how the young people are doing things, but for them, based on what they've read, mm. to start talking about their ideas. I think the culture is currently increasing. Reading has uh, has changed, mm. even though currently we are doing e-books and everything, mm. but the books are still relevant. Mm. I see that you're holding books. Can you just tell me what is your particular interest with books and where the journey began? Um, well, I love in reading uh, political books because like, you know, you get more insight about the mm politics of the country and whatnot. Mostly I read because um, I'm interested in um, the origin of things, like this book over here, um, Tales of the Metric System. Like mm -hmm. it's, it basically gives a biography on how a lot of things came to be, like, you know, a lot of stuff that exists in our world. And by looking at things that, with that perspective, you, you learn to appreciate them more. Can you kindly please spell Wednesday for W-E-D-N-E-S-D-A-Y. W-E-D-N-E-S-D-A-Y. Can you please spell the word bronchitis? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> no, like I'm not sure what the last four words you are. Are you, uh, kitis. 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 Please spell gynecologist. Oh my gosh. It's difficult, man. G-Y-N-A-E-L-O-G-I-S-T. G-Y-N. A. C O. C O L O G I S T H O L. Gynecologist with an H, are you sure, my brother? <laughs> I'm not sure. Say it again. Meme. Meme. Is it a meme or meme? It's a meme. <laughs> All right. Yo. Meme. Okay, you sure? And I'm to appear. And I'm to appear. Oh, nice one. Hey. And I'm to appear. Oh, nice one, Anomotopia. 